Jay Gensel to the Vancouver Canucks, Elias Lindholm to the Boston Bruins. This could all be happening. It's not done yet, and it's not necessarily close, I guess. I don't know. Chris Johnson reporting that in a scenario where Jake Gensel goes to the Vancouver Canucks, Elias Lindholm could be flipped to the Boston Bruins to make it all work. So long story short, Elias Lindholm hasn't worked lately. I mean, it looked great when he joined the team, scored a hat trick and everything was buzzing. And the Boston Bruins were always in on Elias Lindholm. But the problem was the Boston Bruins wanted an extension. When they acquired Hampus Lindholm from the Ducks, the same thing happened and they got the extension with Hampus Lindholm. With this scenario right now, if the Vancouver Canucks were to trade for Jake Gensel, they don't want to move like Kerry Mackey or Wallender. Those are the reports. Maybe they include put Coles in, but they have to include more to move the needle. This is where the Boston Bruins come into play. So if the Bruins use some of their assets, whether it's Fabian Lysel or a first round pick or whatever it is, then they can include that in the package, send that to Pittsburgh. Vancouver sends whatever assets they want to send or can send. Then Gensel would go to Vancouver. Elias Lindholm would get flipped to Boston. Simple as that. Pittsburgh gets everything they want. Vancouver gets Gensel and don't have to give up as much. Obviously, they lose Elias Lindholm in the process. But if they're confident in guys like Pia Suter and all their other depth to fill the hole up the middle and just run PD and JT Miller as the one-two punch, buzzing. So give me your thoughts, guys. I think this is absolutely insane. I think if this scenario goes down, it's going to cause such a domino effect to the point where, one, we weren't expecting it, and two, the point where we've never seen. Because I think in a scenario where that, like that, it's going to probably show other teams that they can get more creative. And probably for two divisions specifically, the Pacific Division with Vancouver and the Atlantic Division with Boston, it's going to show all the other teams that they need to step it up a notch and go for some big acquisitions to match up against Elias Lindholm potentially being in Boston and Jake Gensel potentially being in Vancouver. Again, this is not done yet. It's probably not close to done yet. But then again, watch me post this video and it happens. So hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell. No, no, notification about all that good stuff. I cannot believe we were talking about Elias Lindholm being flipped. I thought he was a Vancouver Canuck. I actually thought he could re-sign there, to be honest. I thought he liked it out west, but nah, he might be joining the other Lindholm in Boston. So uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. Jason Zucker is also being held out for trade-related reasons, and there's also other rumors out there. I'm just going to keep making videos like this. I'm going to be on the road traveling. Uh, I'll be live all day on trade deadline, though, for Friday. I'll be back late Thursday night, ready to stream Friday morning and just ready to keep buzzing with all these trade rumors. So uh, thank you so much for watching as always and hope to see you in the next video. But if this happens or any version of this happening and Jake Gensel ends up in Vancouver and then Boston and all these things, I mean, Kyle Dubas, buddy, he's getting creative. Let's see it. Let's see some big moves.